Hello, my darlings. Hello, everybody. Today we are going to work on a shrine project. Just taking the uh, taking apart a, a frame. George. Hi, everybody. Sophia and Gina and Nightshade and Magical Apotheosis. James and Tanya and everybody. Hello, Jill. Hi, Cindy. Donnie and Tamara. Marishka. Did I get everybody? Okay, finally struggled my way through that. Took all the little bits of metal off. Get my frame. I got my little box. look at the at the plan Donnie thank you for joining my patreon and Cindy thank you for joining the channel so here is my fine art rendering of what's gonna <laughs> try to happen today after watching your bunny painting, I felt so inspired. You're so welcome. So we're going to use a little Bridget doll. And we're going to use a Bridget's cross. Because those are two really um, popular symbols. And then I thought we would make a uh, kind of a pastoral background. Which will have hills and a stream. Yes, Bridget is associated with uh, sacred waterways and some, maybe some livestock and little sheeps on the hill. And then, of course, there's the return of the sun at this time of the year. So I'm going to try to put a sun in the corner here and have that coming. And then Bridget is associated with hearth fires and forge fires and creativity. So I'm going to try to do a little hearth here at the bottom corner if it works out to kind of have like a fire corner and a water corner. And then we'll put the Bridget's cross here and I think I'll paint it green and we might have some reeds coming out of the uh, area of the stream because usually uh, Bridget's crosses are traditionally made with reeds, even though mine is not because I didn't have any reeds. So this is kind of our, our plan here.
Bonnie, thank you so much for joining the channel. And I have this as my little background painting because I thought it would might be a little bit difficult to try and paint a scene inside the box. So I think what we'll do is I'm trying to think of the order of operations here. So these, all of the materials of apotheosis are uh, linked in the description below the, the stream for like frames and boxes and uh, any of the stuff that I'm using today. Maybe we paint this first and then once we have this background, then we can uh, paint the wood to kind of flow. Hi, Auntie. Welcome to the channel. So this is acrylic paint. It's not watercolors, but I'm kind of trying to make it look a little bit, maybe a little bit like watercolor. You know, I should have uh, gotten some parchment paper to uh, put down to protect my, uh, my desk here. Once I block in this green, I think I'm gonna run and grab some parchment paper just to, uh, once I start flinging paint around, all bets are off really. Welcome to everybody. Hello. Aqua Blue. Hi, Witchy. Or, hi, Alternative Witchy Unicorn. Oh, Donnie, see you later. This will be up as a lot tomorrow. You're right, or tonight. a few videos 
in the description that will give you some idea on how I make a corn dolly to represent Bridget and also uh, how to make a Bridget's cross. I actually filmed myself making the ones uh, for the, that I used today, but I didn't have time enough to export the video before the live stream. Now this is going to be a very um, scribbly kind of a background. It's not going to be uh, anything accurate. I just want to give the impression of, of hills and um, of water. The watercolor paper really soaks up this paint, so that's why I keep going back. Well, there we've got our green hills at least. Hi, Lady Galaxia. Hi, Megan. So happy to see you. Yeah, I know the live streams are so long, it's impossible to stay for the whole thing. <laughs> I know that you have a very, um, a strong connection with Bridget, so this is the video for you. I'll be making this into a shorter video, of course, using the footage from the live stream, so there's always going to be that eventually. It just takes me a while to get the editing done. Okay, let's call that our hills. I'm going to let that uh, dry. And then... And also kind of do the same thing. This is going to fill in the backgrounds like that. So we kind of want to do the hills like this. Get a sense of like just a quick, quick sense of where they're going to be. Hi, Blackbird. So you can kind of see the hills are going to continue along the sides. And then the river is going to continue over here. And then I think I might make this all water. That's what it is. It's kind of a diorama, Azo. That's the perfect uh, description of this. So let's just do a little bit of like land, and then the rest I think will be water if it looks okay. So, like, that'll be our land, and then the rest of this will be water. Well, we maybe need a little more land because this will be part of that hill. Too, like, 
maybe like that. That's just a little scribbly idea. And then the top part is going to be all sky and sun. Anybody who missed the beginning of the stream, give you a sense of how it might look with the sun streaming down and then the water at the bottom. Oops, jiggle cam around, sorry about that. Video editing can be brutal and very time consuming. Jill says she's ready to run to the country and be an herbal hippie witch. Okay, so let's get some green in here real fast and then we'll start with our sky, which I think it's gonna be fun to do a background of blue and then pop in some white clouds. Also have a frame on this. So a lot of this stuff won't actually get seen, but throwing it in there anyway. Focus is on my right, on my hand instead of the painting. There we go. Mercury Frost, thank you so much. This is my first live stream, but I've watched your other videos. Oh, thank you for saying I'm talented. You know, I just show up every, uh, it's not so much talent, it's just showing up and trying. You know, that just sounds simplistic, but it, it really, that's all it is. All right, we have still no focus. What is going on? I'm gonna throw some of this lighter green in here to give it some zhuzh. This is my zhuzh color for today. We'll be zhuzhing. That's a technical art term. There we go. I will have to check out the uploaded version, but I wanted to pop in and see what a live stream is. It's just chit chat with your friends. I really like uh, hanging out with everybody a couple times a month. It's it's, uh, it gives me a chance to talk to everybody because otherwise I'm just doing this all by myself and I don't know what people are thinking or wanting or what they like. Or... Have a good night, Mercury, or day, wherever you are. For me, it's 4.24, so it's like pre-dinner. It's dinner time in other places. and Well, I mean, it's morning in other places. People globally. Sure wish the focus would get off my hand and onto my painting. Sure. If wishes were horses.
Okay, we've got our... Doesn't look like much right now, but we have our... Our hills. Are we back on the Witcher talk? I mean, once this... Well, I'm not going to put it in while it's wet, but you get the general... The gist of it. Oh, Sophia, my name is Amy. Okay. I'm going to watch while I make candles for my coven. How fun! Okay, so let's move into some light blue for our sky. I got uh, this color called Pool. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it. Yulin Stob, thank you so much. In all of my pen pal cards, I, I put, or videos, I put uh, at the end of the, in the description, my name is Amy and I'd love to be pen pals. So I don't really say my name, but I don't also keep it a secret. So let's do our sky. I'm going to do this color blue first and then we'll go lighter and then we'll go to white with clouds. And again, I just want a scribbled watercolor feel to everything. I don't want it to be um, photorealistic or anything like that. The idea is like a Monet kind of a feel, right? Just um, really dabbled on. Same here. Continuing the, the picture. so sweet like you my name means beloved I feel lucky to, I feel lucky to have the name that I do because that has yeah, that has come out that has actually ended up coming true And remember, we're also going to put over the clouds, I think we're going to put streaming sunlight. So there's going to be several layers here in the sky. Dark. This is going to be the darkest blue and then lighter blue, then clouds and then streams of sunlight, which I'm going to use a, like a yellow, orangey yellow.
Okay, so we've got sky la sky layer one. And then, oh yeah, water. Same, we need to use the same blue for water. I don't know, Joel. I don't think this is going to be one of the gold metallic or glitter projects. I think this one's going to be all matte. And I mean, usually we share a brain, but I think I think we're going to go more watercolory matte looking because once you see the the Bridget doll is is made out of corn husk, as is the Bridget cross. They're very agricultural looking. Charm Smith, hi everyone, I'm new to the channel. Welcome. Okay, well, that does not look like a river, but I'm hoping that it will look like a river and a stream, a stream and a lake, a waterway of some kind, when it all comes together. to go a little darker on this water though. Wanted to keep everything kind of in the pastel color ranges. Yeah, more organic. That's, and I'll show you right now what the, uh, our little, I made a few Bridget crosses. I think maybe this is the one I'm going to go with. And it's going to have a light green, I think a light green to it. I did made a, I made a more chunky one too that was tied off with the corn instead of the twine. going to kind of go down at the bottom right. And then I have this little guy for the top corner that um, we can paint as a sun and then we can do the rays coming down. I was thinking that the voice on your videos was some, from someone who does the editing for you, but now I understand it's my own voice. Yes, I do my own editing, my own voiceover, and my own, yeah, I'm a one-woman team. <laughs> Okay, time to match everything up and see if our lines are gonna match. Mm -hmm. 
you could make some dark blue highlights in the water and maybe add some stone-like features. That's a good idea, Renee. Hi, Louise. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Louise. So the river is going to come out to the right and then I'm going to try to put a fire feature here, but I'm just not, uh, oh, Misha, pardon me. I'm just not a hundred percent sure that the fire is going to work out. I just don't know how we have a shrine to bridge it without putting fire. I feel like fire is so much of associated with her. So I'm going to give it a shot. I feel like when you're painting on wood, if it doesn't work out, you can always paint over. I'm caught between wanting to do a calm video and also between wanting to get the shrine project done within the live stream time but last time um, we didn't quite finish and I think it was okay we we got 90% there and called it a day I guess we probably can't have everything on the shrine because if we tried to put everything that Bridget is associated with in one five by seven shrine, it would be jam packed. Sarah, thank you so much for joining the channel. Lady Galaxia thinks I'm a boss lady. <laughs> well, this is my business, so yeah, I turn magical cra crafting into, into my job. So, kind of a boss lady, but also just... So kind of a blessing. To be able to do things that you love for a living is, is really a privilege and a, a blessing. How many people do you know in your life who literally hate their job? I think it's going to take two layers of this paint because it's kind of drying brownish. You can see the wood through absorbing the paint.
And if you had small sticks from our branch and red, yellow tissue paper, you could add it inside of the box next to her. Oh yeah. I feel like my little uh, bitty doll is gonna fill up the box a lot. She's pretty big. So she's, she's most, she's most of the space. And then I didn't know if I, there's some way to add these little flowers. Maybe these flowers instead of the fire. I'm just not sure. Fearless, hi. Can you please teach us something to find a job that passes our soul with some good collages or colleagues maybe? Honestly, it's not anything uh, super um, complicated that I did. I just did a Venn diagram. I'm trying to think this through before I say what it was. It was the things, the thing that you're interested in and the thing that can make money and the thing that will help people. And you try to get all three of those circles to be filled up with the thing it is that you're doing. Or the thing that would like provide the most good or you know, however you want to phrase it. It doesn't have to be helping people. But for me, that was one of the, my circles. Okay, we have Skyke. My husband actually has been trying so hard to do his dream work for years, but it's been difficult for him to get out of the job he has at the moment because he doesn't really hate it. I did graphic design, so I didn't hate my other job either. And then I kept clients all, all the way up until last year, or this year, I should say, before I felt like I could actually make this my job. It's a multi-step process. <laughs> YouTube is hard. doesn't look like anything yet, but it's going to be something. Once that goes in there. Slasher Saw, hi, will you ever break, release a book? Is it something you're thinking of? I actually have been thinking about doing a book on art witchery. I think that would be a good topic for me. I 
to have a lighter blue now. Or maybe not just art, but arts and crafts. I don't know what you would call that. I mean, most people call it art witchery, but I feel like most people feel like they can't do art and prefer to watch crafts. I'm finally going back to school after being a stay-at-home mom for six years. I'm going into psychology. Oh, Lady Galactica, that's interesting. So this is not glued down yet, so I'm just kind of setting it here so we can get an idea of where, how everything lines up. psychology is a really needed field right now especially with the global panini I would uh, Tamarishka says I would do a vision board on what you desire and want to bring into your life with the intention of earning a living with it Good idea. If there's something that you look at every single day for a year, it can't, it, I mean, it has to get into your psyche somehow. One of the things that I have up that I look at, well, not daily, but very often, because it's in my office, it says, don't put off your happy life. And I want to put some more um, kind of inspirational phrases up in my office as well, similar to that. have one and manifestation does work if it's the highest and best. Definitely agree, Tamariska. Art witchery sounds like a great idea, Sandra says. I feel like the word art is what puts people off because people say, I wish I could do art or I wish I was an artist. And But if you say it's a craft or a DIY or a tutorial or some other phrase, then people think that they can do it. Like there's no reason anybody can't do this project. There's no... Uh, 
you don't need to understand perspective or the human body or being able to draw anything perfectly. It's just a bunch of paint colors smushed around. Sigils, color, magic, intention. I love all of that stuff. Sigils is another thing that I'm considering doing a little book about. I want to do a sigil workbook where people can make their own, though. I don't want to do just a book on uh, where I've written a bunch of words. I just I want to do a, an, a simple explanation on how to do it and then leave space for people to do their own. I'd love to do a lunar planning workbook too, but I'm not sure how to do that and have it be undated because that's not something I would want to update for each year. Anyone else affected by Mer Mercury retrograde? My computer's been so buggy all day. I was really worried about this stream and whether it was going to be laggy or not. It seems to be just fine. So, oh, Red Lorraine is here. Oh, you were sleeping. <laughs> I was thinking of a workbook or a journal format for for sigils, yeah. I have a whole series of um, books on Amazon that are just journals and grimoires and workbooks that you fill in yourself. They're not they're not books I've written, they're just books I've created. And I'm all about a good workbook or journal. Oh no, too much zhuzhing. The zhuzhing was too bright. You could probably just leave the date open. Yeah, I was concerned that people would buy a lunar calendar uh, planner and then expect it to be a lunar, lun the lunar phases for the year they buy it in. And then if it didn't have dates, then they would be like, I have to look this stuff up myself. What did I buy this for? That's been my hesitancy for making something like that. something it's gonna be something I don't think these hills are matching up but they do have their they match up with what's inside not what's outside if that makes this if that makes sense <laughs> I have a very crazy experience when Mercury retrograde happens. I cannot talk or write correctly. It's a real disaster. 
Jill is calling our, our secret sisterhood of spooky shit to order. Donna says she doesn't know how she found this, but she's glad she did. Oh yay, I'm glad you woke up to the stream. Hi, Dwayne. Cindy says, Amy, you've been the one who really inspired me in using sigils. Printed out your worksheets and used them all the time. I've even made some for my outdoor potted plants last summer. Ooh, I can't wait to do the ones, some of the videos I have in spring that for sigils are how to make um, sigils for your garden. If I call it witchcrafts, then nobody get, that's clever, but see, you have to, you have to call it something that people are searching. That's why there's so many trends in the community because people get on these search terms and then, uh, then creators have to keep using these terms if they want their videos or their other things to be found. So then they start to get become trends and it would be cool to implement the prompted meditations you do with the creation of the sigil and connecting with your guides to do it Sounds incredibly complicated. No need to yell, Dwayne. Cindy, when you get the calendar, will you let me know about the quality? Because I didn't order one. And so I'm just, I, I just want to make sure that it's a good quality print. Um, because we, when you connect your channel to, to the merchandise, uh, YouTube decides the company you have to use. So um, I've never, I don't know anything about the company. Um, they're called Teespring and I hope they're good. <laughs> oh, I have, um, there's links to all of my books that I have on Amazon um, below the stream. There, um, there's about se seven or eight. Oh, thanks for ordering the journal. Tessa, you made it. Okay. Okay, is this a, a good minute to talk about the Scarlet Nymph palette for Imbolc? While we're waiting for the drying. Because you guys know that Scarlet Nymph and I work together on making palettes for each holiday. And Imbolc is coming up, so this is the next one. This is our Imbolc palette, not sponsored, um, just a friend, Scarlet Nymph is a friend and she makes these great watercolor paints. So there's a link uh, to her shop in the description. So we have the golds for goldenrod, the greens for the snowdrops, we have the purples and the pinks for the crocus, and there's a lot of snow glitter. There's three whites, some purple, some blue. I just love this greenish gold. And this gives you an idea of what they kind of look like on. So they're made with mica and glitter, so they really like if you can see in the sh there you go. 
different directions, they look a little different. <laughs> so check out her store, there's a link, not sponsored. I just love her. It's on Etsy. So there you go. And then we're dry, right? I'll let you know about the calendar when it arrives. Cool. Thank you. I hope you guys... Don't mind me taking a quick break to show off those paints, but we spent a lot of time putting to together the colors and the palettes, so I get a little excited about them as they, uh, as the holidays start coming. Let's try to draw some um, little sheep. I was just thinking about using the. Uh, just the, the these little chalk pens, these little Posca ones. And then just dotting the hillside with sheep. put some little black legs on them or little white legs black or white legs There's some, oops, that, sorry, that uh, focus is out of focus. I guess this thing is it's drawing all the focus away. There we go. There's my little lammies. <laughs> Red Lorraine says, welcome back, Duane. I hope you have as much support as you need. Donna says, beautiful colors. Lady Galaxia says, Duane, I hope you're doing well. I've been seven years clean and definitely understand the struggle. Slasher says, a tarot, tarot oracle deck with your watercolors would be very interesting. I would love to do that too. You know, I am a one of those type of people who suffers from shiny object syndrome where I get a lot of ideas and I want to do a book and I want to do an oracle deck and I want to do book of shadows pages and I want to do all the things and then that's not the best way to get videos done because <laughs> I don't know it's definitely a balancing act let's say that Okay, so the next step 
Is our white-legged sheep more true to Ireland? See, Jill, that's what I was thinking, but then I just went with the black, and that's what we have now. But I think, yes, I think you're right. I've only been to Ireland once, and it was many years ago, so I'm a little fuzzy on, on that. It's, it's a baby sheep's and a mommy sheep's, because Bridget is very associated with the babies and the motherhood and the fertility and all that. JSTV, good night. I missed your comment. Sasha says, I just got my living altar oracle deck and I'm completely in love with it. I don't know that one. For a while, I was um, buying a lot of tarot and oracle decks, and it's easy to rationalize it when you say to yourself, I'm going to make an oracle deck, so this is all research. <laughs> Forty decks later. <laughs> okay. I think I like this one best. And I think I'm going to give it a little zhuzh with some green. You know, um, corn husk is kind of a naturally waterproof situation, so it's almost kind of just like dry brushing. Oh, Sophie, it's two in the morning. Goodness. Well, this will be a VOD after the stream ends, so you can check it out anytime. So yeah, this will be a VOD, and then eventually I will edit down the footage to a, a short, quick video on how to make the shrine itself. So it'll come out in many forms. <laughs> There we go. I don't want to go too green with it. I just wanted to give it a little zhuzh. The sheep in Ireland had pink and purple and blue butts. Good night. I've really enjoyed meeting you all. It was good to see you. And we do this every two weeks or two, two weeks a month. Twice a month, not two weeks a month, twice a month. Rockin' It says the music is not rocking it for him or her or them. The music is putting them to sleep. I'm working while watching and listening. I used to do Twitch streams and 
with Twitch, you can really like moderate your chat a little bit easier. I have no idea how to moderate my chat with the, with the YouTube tools. Okay, so we've got our green thing. And now for our um, Bridget, I think what I'm gonna do is make her arms a little shorter because they look super long to me. What do you guys think? Nobody's arms really go down that low. hot glue to make sure it doesn't unwind. Okay, she's been, she's had her hands glued. We don't need to see that. We'll just look at the front. I'm using your black salt recipe right now. Amazing. You know what I like about that recipe that I've never seen in any other one? When you write the message of protection and you burn it and you use the ashes of the message in the, um, in the salt. I feel like there's, the, that is a really very specific intent and a way to put your intent into something. Literally write down what you want, burn it, and add it. So it's traditional for Bridget to have a white dress, so I think we're going to try to put a little bit of white on this as well. And this also gets us into our clouds, so... I'm not sure if the white dress came from the original goddess or from St. Bridget. Robin, a very witch woman indeed. I do remember the sheep in Ireland having a lot of spray paint on them to keep everybody's herds identifiable, I suppose, when they all commingle to graze and do their thing.
Tell Mariska, I'm going to have to check out your stuff later because I can't go check it out now and subscribe. But I'll try and remember. Should we try to give her a face or is that a lost cause? Would that just be too weird? start doing a few little cloudy clouds as well. Whoops, I got a little bit into the green, I think, here. Whoopsie! That's not good. try and kind of mimic this over here on this piece of paper as well so I hope all this comes together the way I'm envisioning it will in there and then I think we also need to look at like what how this will connect in here and maybe throw some clouds inside as well to kind of connect these up you should see that I don't know if the camera's gonna catch that yeah the camera hates me seems to be working out and a little bit more up here Oh, getting back to chat. I'm sorry, you guys. I sometimes really, uh, I really tune out into the into the artwork, and I I let chat go. Blackbird says, "Lurking while making a HelloFresh meal." Hmm. 
we actually do um, we do a mail service as well a couple of days a week. Um, it's called Gobble. Lady Galaxia says, I absolutely love your protection oil. I think of all the oils that I've made that I have in my stash, that's probably the one I've shared with friends the most. <laughs> I think that's the one everybody needs the most <laughs> during the panini, the worldwide panini that we're going through. Cindy wants to know, did anyone make any moon water with the first full moon of the year? You know what? I totally uh, spaced out on doing that. But I have some great moon water that I have in my, um, that I have in my special bottle. So I don't think I needed to make any this month. It snowed here in Kentucky and I used snow to make mine. Oh, that's a great idea. My moon water is um, also rainwater and it's also storm water. So I use it very sparingly because I live in San Diego and rain is very rare here and storms are even more rare. So if you can get all three on a full moon, I save that. <laughs> All right, we are ready to, what are we doing? Probably just gluing this in. Or are we, we're still painting and we're gonna do our little sun. Let me move this out of the way and let's do our little sun. Got these two guys, a little orangey one, and then kind of a brighter yellowy one. I run out of space in my palette, but that's okay. I only need just a few drippy drops of this. Yes, I made moon water this moon, drank it on the spot because my ritual involves asking the moon to make me a tea. Of her virtue is to enrich my life. Wow, that's super cool. I freaking love that. I'm stealing that. Can I put that in a video as a suggestion? Not that I'm making a mood water video anytime soon, but I love that idea. Rockin' made moon water and Donna spaced out on it too. I don't feel like you have to do a moon water every new, uh, new or full moon if you if you don't have a use for it. But that, that idea, that tea idea is amazing. Okay. Let's brush our edges. Piles of snow just outside my window. <laughs> okay, we got a sun. <laughs> I'd be so flattered if you use anything of mine. Yeah, we should all share ideas on when we're chatting around. This paint always looks so funky when I 
smoosh it out. It's the Martha Stewart, I don't know if you can see this. It's the watercolor gel, soft gel. So when you smoosh it out, it always looks a little chunky and weird, but it's so good. It's my favorite. The coverage, the colors, the, um, the creaminess. You can't tell on camera that there's two different colors being painted here because the light is a little bit too bright. And they're very close in color. But let's figure out how this is gonna work. This is the part that I didn't plan out, so let's hope it just It just works out magically. It's the moment of truth. The moment of truth is that you didn't have your hot glue gun on, so it's not ready. The moment of truth will be in a moment. trying to straighten this out anyway. I put the water in a clear glass or jar and view the moon through it while I ask her for her to make me moon tea. I live for this idea. We, um, our moon was completely covered over her with clouds, our full moon. And then sometimes you actually make tea with like a tea bag or loose leaf tea. Magic is the original crowdsource. I love that. <laughs> Jessica says, I did a pretty big ritual for the first new moon on the second. And when the full moon came around, I was still too burnt out to make myself do more than a meditation while making cookies. Cookies. Oh, yeah. I want to go home and make some cookies. I'm pretty sure the background music is an elevator version of the main song in Jennifer's body. I don't know that movie. Tracy, hello. The six virtues I ask of the moon to make moon tea are her peace, love, joy, wisdom, power, and strength. Nice. Has anyone ever had any real magical experiences? Oh, well, I'm going to, I, of course, certainly I have, but I want to see what everybody else answers. Tracy wants to let everybody know that it's, he's a man. Thank you. I try not to assume genders, but I always blow it. <clears throat> Our full moon was not covered. I loved it. I got myself a photo out on my deck with the moon behind me. Joy says, I brewed a cup of chamomile tea and let it sit in the full moon to charge and drank it while enjoying the pretty moonlight reflecting on the eight inches of snow we got here in South Carolina. Nice to meet a male, male witch, says Dwayne. Inca Doodle says, someone bought a custom mojo bag from me for protection and I incorporated a bit of your protection spell in it. I use the wolf moon to consecrate and empower it.
One of my very, very, very first videos three years ago, I made a... Um, we're going to glue this while I talk. I made a money spell jar and... While I was making it for the channel, um, I also, you know, was putting my intention in it for money to come to me. And my thought was, as I was making it, um, not something that I put in the video, but just my thought as my intention as I was making it, I was thinking it was money that I would earn. So I imagined this as, as money coming to me, having earned it. Look at this, it looks so cool. It looks so cool, it looks so cool. I live, oh, it's so good. Looky, looky, it lined up and looks like, oh, we didn't, well, so close though. <laughs> I'm happy. And after I finished filming that video, before I even edited it and put it up on the channel, I found out that I had earned over $2,000 and it was in um, uh, an account that I had never realized that there was money there and that I was able to do a payout and get like, it was almost like $2,300 or something. And I've been sitting there for years and I didn't know about it. Literally the day I made the jar. Okay, so now I think what we do is we glue together the frame and then the sun and then paint the rays on all of the things so it all matches up. Oh man, I'm missing all the comments because I was gluing that. I have to scroll up now. I want to know everybody's magical experiences. Red Lorraine says, I did. I buried a puppet representing the worst parts of a friend that were harming me and asked for those parts of her not to affect me anymore. And then she dumped me when we got back into town. Was this in a park that started with the letter P? Good evening, Tracy. Thank you for your videos. Tracy, are you a YouTuber? I have two daughters that are following in my steps. That's very cool. Moira says, for the full moon, I made your orange uh, simmering potpourri recipe. Oh yeah, love that. I made it twice, so once to try it and then once to film it. So the house just smelled amazing for like two days. Red Lorraine says, I have done magic around money when I needed it and I had a cat that needed surgery and I made a request and Twitter gave me enough to get her the surgery and she lived another year. That's amazing. Inky Doodle says, magical experiences. Well, one moon when I was consecrating psychic protection candles I'd made, an owl flew over just as I said, so won't it be? It was a magical for me, so what do you think? Now that's magic. Jill says, while working at a thrift store, we found a voodoo doll puppet. The staff kept trying to get rid of it, but it kept showing up in the sorting room. <laughs> Saunders says my husband invited his goddess to our hand fasting he put aside an invitation for her it later disappeared during the ceremony one of the floral displays fell over showing us she was there Jill says of the puppet 
we finally I finally gave it a salt water bath and threw it on the roof in the sun and we never heard from it again. I've always been drawn to it. Tracy says, I've always been drawn to it, but sad to say that it's only been in the last 10 years or so that I realized this is me. I know this sounds just like it's out of the movie The Craft, but magical crafting was there. <laughs> magical crafting was there with the with the the bearing the thing. Yeah. Scarlet Nim says, when we called the corners at our hand fasting and the east corner was being called, a flurry of yellow butterflies flew into the circle and danced around a bit before leaving. Magical crafting was there. Um, Jill says, my money shaker jar turned to compost inside. <laughs> Did you put money in it? Dwayne says, I did a banishing spell on a former coworker because of her bad attitude and negative energy. At first, she toned her down. At first, it toned her down. Then, a few weeks later, she was a joy to work with. That's cool. Moon, you're not late. We're just goofing, and I'm reading chat, but I should actually be making this craft. So let's get back to it. Sorry, we were talking about if we had, had any magical experiences, so I have to read all this chat because I'm intensely interested in what everybody's had happen. Inkadoodle had a vision of a temple with a mural, and a man from the mural came forth and said, A flower sees the dawn, my eyes see you, a beautiful woman. Your beauty dawns in my eyes. Do you believe in love? Wow. Just going by the craft store for bits and bobs takes me probably two hours. There's a lot of distractions. Okay, let's glue this baby on here. Let's do it. So this doesn't exactly fit 100%, so we have to get the best we can do. And just hope for the best. There we go. That's going to be the best I can do. So let's let's just do it. Um, the sheep are um, enormous, but really far away. And then she runs out of glue at the last second. Just not getting it, Ted. All right, gluing. And I'm just gluing the top and bottom because the sides don't really touch because the frame doesn't really match the size of the box. Okay, so that's going on like that, and that's going on like that. So it's not 100%, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work for me. So what's going to happen here is that it's going to be able to sit up. If you can kind of see, like, once this is glued down, my glue did not stay very good. Let's try it again. I'm going to glue that again. And then I'm going to paint the bottom there, too.
Lotus Life Creation says, I'm new to your channel and I love it. Already I've watched several of your videos and taken notes. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Thank you for watching. Oh, I gotta get the glue. Okay, so now that we've glued it, we need to just pop a little paint on the bottom here where I missed. So you can kind of see how the shrine will sit up on a table. Again, I know the camera can see it, but I can't see this because of the angle. So I'm going to have to, sorry about that. I'm going to have to turn it towards me real quick. And you're going to have to look at the back just while I get some quick color on that. Okay, it happened, it works. I'm really happy with the way this looks. Let's glue down the sun. Lady Galaxia, I missed what who we're talking about a few weeks later he had stopped making new accounts and phone numbers to contact me and he moved out of state it sounds like you got rid of somebody bad I missed the first bit okay so we have our little son If you feel something is magical to you, then it's magical to you. We don't have to, we're not the judges of that. always wear leopard shirts <laughs> you guys I have like I don't know how many
Okay, we have some sun. <laughs> kind of paints I'm using. They're acrylic paints. I mostly use folk art or um, uh, uh, Martha Stewart. Words are hard. I'm on the struggle bus today, you guys. And I really, 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 really like this uh, Martha Stewart watercolor, but they're acrylics. But they're uh, a watercolor effect, I guess you would call it. Would love to find color yourself tarot cards. Oh, that would be very chill. Like, that would be a nice calm. I guess it, it depends on which cards you were coloring, I suppose. Welcome to Ireland in a box or Scotland or any celtic -y kind of place. Joe Park says that mut there's mutton smell about those sheep and then runs away. Uh, are you thinking of painting the back a solid color? Well, I don't know. Not in this, not in this live stream. We don't have time to watch paint dry. That kind of piece is magical. Yes, Lady Galaxia, it is. Do you have any tarot card videos coming up or maybe I just haven't found the ones that I've already done? You know, I've only done, I think, two. I would love to do some tarot card videos. Again, I have shiny object disease. And I want to do 27 different things. The problem is, is you can't build a channel by doing 27 different things. You have to stick to a few. So each year I start a new couple of series. And this year I'm doing spell candles and guided meditations. Next year I really want to do tarot videos. So the plan was to offset the sun with a Bridget's cross here and to put Bridget in the scene, of course, and then uh, flowers or try to paint flames. Like here was our original idea was a hearth over here and painting flames. So, what are your thoughts? I feel like the water needs a little bit more um, water to it. Right? It needs to be just a bit more deep because it looks just like the sky. So, I'm going to get a little bit darker um, blue. I will be right back. Joy says, I crafted a healing spell jar for a family member battling cancer and placed it near his bed. He had a doctor's appointment last week and his tumor had shrunk more than expected. Hope my spell jar helped. Amazon has some color your own tarot decks. Oh, really? Has time slowed down or sped up for anyone? magically trying to make it do that or just in general because it's mercury retrograde or just in life moon boats that this is whales time is a weird soup for sure
Inkadoodle, I'm so excited about this guided meditation series. I hope everybody likes it. I hope that it gets views. Oh, we have two medically vulnerable people who can't get vaccines in chat. Darn it. It's so awful. Bonfire on the hill in the background. Jill, you are an evil genius. How, how do I, how do I, how do I? Hmm. I'm going to get the paint for the water and I'm going to think about that. Like just, just here for a bonfire. Or do I, I still try the, the hearth over here, like some bricks and some fire and the foreground on the frame. I'll be right back, you guys. Just to let you know that the, the video that is linked below the um, live stream is how to make a corn dolly. And this is the dolly that we made in the video. So the reason I can't use it in the shrine is because she's as tall as the whole shrine. But I'm very tempted <laughs> to just put her here. Because <laughs> wouldn't that be cute? I'm not as thrilled, I'm not as thrilled with this Bridget doll, you guys. Maybe she needs hair and a face. Is that, is that why you don't like her? Because her head is so enormous and square? Yes, the cigar boxes are definitely a way to go. I did get, I do have a link to some cigar boxes uh, below the, um, the stream. I do have a bunch of them and they are gonna make an appearance for the shrine projects on my, my uh, Art Witch Wednesdays. I love the fact that they open up because then you can have a flat surface and a straight surface and so you can do something de with depth or you could maybe make it a candle holder in front of the shrine where you have the open the open lid using that to hold a candle so i have been thinking about Jill, your comment was held for my review. Her head looks like a paper bag. I'm going to show that comment. <laughs> That's nice though, because um, YouTube is trying to make sure that nobody is like calling other people names and stuff like that. <laughs> Hi, Cindy, welcome. go big with Bridget. So do you think I should put fire on one side and the big doll here on the other side? Because then we can have the orange with the fire and the orange with the doll. Let me get my water painted.
We just definitely need a little more definition in this uh, in this water. I'm not sure how one piece of glitter fell into this project. Further proving that I can't do any projects without adding glitter. But I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put uh, I think I'm gonna put the big Bridget on because you know what? I'm just super not thrilled with that that particular the way that dolly came out. And while I could make another dolly, I can't do it on stream. detail work on this because some of the I did miss a couple of the spots Sorry, I keep hitting the microphone with my hand because it's to my left and I'm left-handed. I'm sorry if that keeps making a bonking noise.
Okay, I think we've added enough water. <laughs> Okay, good enough. <sighs> okay, so it's time to decide. We have to decide. Is it going to be fire over here and the dolly over here? Or do we just uh, use the Bridget's Cross and the Dolly? Doodle is like not clairvoyant anytime is just good for pie. <laughs> oh, I missed a bunch of chat again because I'm thinking about this. Krishna the kitty is watching the stream. I didn't get an extra view for it, but that's okay. Does the fire symbolize the sun? Do you need both the fire and the sun? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if I put a little orange in the sun so it kind of works off the orange in her dress? I feel like if you live in a place where you can get a hold of some reeds and you could make a little dolly or um, a bridges cross out of something other than corn, I'd say go for it. Um, I live in a really dry place, so I ended up just using the corn husks because that was something that was available to me. But I would say reeds might be the more traditional way to go. And the video that um, I linked to on how to make the Bridget's Cross uses reeds, so. Okay. 
Okay, we have our sun and we have our orange. So I feel like we're gonna finish this up by gluing these guys on. I'm gonna put this guy here and this guy here. The only question is, do we add the flowers or do we not? We've got a few reeds and then a flower, no flower, just the Bridget's cross on top of the reeds. Thoughts, feelings. Joe Parks thinks we need a bonfire in the background to up on the up on the hill. No flowers, flowers. <laughs> Maybe a few flowers under her, sh down at the bottom of her skirt. Down here. Cross on reeds, one flower single flower and then maybe one down by her dress maybe two flowers maybe maybe just two maybe just one it kind of balances out the giant object over here right I feel like this needs the weight but we don't need to judge it up with too much one flower Oopsie, that was my mouse. A flower garland around her head. How can we do this? Oh, yes. Oh, we have a winner. Who said that? Rocking it. Cute flowers on the bottom of the dress. I feel like I feel like the head is the way to go. A flower at the belt and the head. You guys, I think I think we're onto something here. Let's look at this doll. One flower and the reeds and the cross on the left side. Yes, I agree. And then for the doll though, I'm, I'm really digging this idea of like the one at the belt and then one on the flower crown. Flowers on head, Cindy, with an exclamation mark. Moon says brilliant. Yes, rocking. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. So, filming. Being a YouTuber is so weird because every time you do something, you have to think, am I filming? And where are my scissors? There we go. Ugh. 
I'm sorry my neighbors are so loud. I hope you can't hear them on stream. But I fear that you can a little bit. I love to watch the process. I love that you guys have these ideas because I would have never thought of putting it on the head. I also love the idea of having the bonfire on the hillside, but I feel like since I'd already glued in the piece of paper that I would have a very hard time painting that in there. And so rather than fail, I'm choosing not to try. Okay, so we're gonna do the head with, I think, the leftover little guy from here and these two guys. And we'll make a little crowny crown. Yes, 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 yes. And to be honest, this actually gives me an opportunity. I think we're a little too close, right? There we go. Putting this doll on to the shrine actually gives me an opportunity to link back to that old video and maybe it will get a little bit more viewership and love. Okay, I stuck it to my finger, so don't do that. Renee says, you've inspired me to revamp my altar for Bridget. Nice. I'm using a lot for this last flower because it's going to be the thing that holds the whole thing together. I feel like we're having a little bit of a Frida Kahlo moment. You guys still make me want to host a witchy art retreat. You make me want to go to one, Jill. Oh, look at you guys. Come on, this is just stupidly cute. is just adorable. Look at her. All right, let's add our reeds in here. We'll just cut them off at the bottom and make them even to the bottom. Blue paint is not dry. I just put my hand in it. That's okay. 
It's all right. And then this little guy is gonna kind of go here so that it, it's a little bit in the pit, in the frame a little bit. Moon, the, um, the corn hut, everything I used is, uh, uh, should be linked below. I know it's a big bunch of links down there saying, here's things you can use, but uh, the corn husk should be at the, pretty much at the top. And then we're gonna pop this on to kind of cover up our little bit of a mess and we're gonna cut the bottom. Even this might have a wire in it. Nope, it's okay. I always get great ideas from all of you guys. Like the idea to do a painting of flowers that are um, associated with different goddesses. As younger, I used my Barbie doll as Bridget and dressed her up with a crown of flowers. That's perfect because that's the tradition is to take your doll and dress her in a white dress and take her around to houses and get in a basket of flowers and the households would give young girls a gift. Blue spider webs. Okay. I feel like there's one more reed that needs to go here. Resistance. Did you say you have books that are linked somewhere? Yes, in the description below the, the stream. There is a link to all my magical crafting books. It's, I'm sorry, there are so many links under there, you guys. You just have to kind of really read through. A friend of Jill's made her old Barbie into a Minoan snake goddess. I love that. Oh yeah, you can get corn husks in the Latino food section of your grocery store. store Elena says yes for tamales, for wrapping tamales. And that's what I've linked uh, below in the description is <laughs> tamale wrappers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, and dollar store, or you can get them at the thrift store. There's always Barbies or some kind of dolls. Someone should make a line of Barbies as goddesses. tamales I'm now too old to I enjoy making a new doll every year along with her cross Jill I really wanted to get into that that trend of turning the dolls into different things but um, I honestly it's, again, with the shiny object, I was like squirrel for for five minutes. I was gonna I was gonna become a doll artist. <laughs> see it perfectly but that's what it would look like when it's sitting up so you can set it on a desk or an altar or anywhere or you could put it on your wall like a framed photo maybe with some uh, stick them or I guess you could use a nail Four cobs are sufficient to make a few corn dollies. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can just buy corn, eat the corn, and use the husks for it. And if you use them that way, you don't have to put them in water to get them uh, soft because they're already soft. Tamales take a lot of effort, but they're worth it, and they can they can be. Um, you know, served over the next few days so it doesn't have to be eaten right away. I'm just always so surprised at how different every single shrine turns out. The Hecate one was so different from the Persephone one, and then the Toth one was so different from this Brigid one. And I can't wait to have over 12 of them that I can just look at all in a all on a tabletop and just see how where each one of them went the next um, the next live stream is going to be the first Wednesday of February and we're going to be doing another shrine project and it's going to be to the goddess Ma'at um, she is a goddess that I'm very um, I'm very in love with and so um, that will be the first Wednesday of February we'll be doing another shrine project to the goddess Ma'at and Jill we will definitely be bringing in the uh, the gold, the treasure gold paint on that one <laughs> for sure and it's going to be a lot of black and gold and uh, Egyptian uh, feeling to it. And that one will have a little statuette inside instead of a dolly or a painting. We have so many Barbie lovers in chat. You guys are having fun talking about the Barbies special editions I'm so glad you guys could um, could hang out with me first Wednesday of February is Imbolc the live stream falls on Imbolc Is it not the mm, 
third or fourth or something. I gotta run and look at calendar real quick. Is it, does it fall on in bulk? We'll have to have a celebration. the day after it's the second two two twenty two 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 twain street all right it's a day after in bulk stream with a shrine to Maat and Donna it's every first and third Wednesday of the month all for the rest of the year so you can mark all your calendar for the first and third Wednesday of every month. And it's all, that's always Art Witch Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. I dropped my mouse on the floor, so I can't, I can't end the stream. We have to just stay on forever. You all have a great night and thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in two weeks.